Mm-hmm. Right. I... I've got, like, the mouse scrolling. I'm going to have to see if I can disable it. Right, now you can walk. I know you're probably not going to do any damage. Yep. Maybe he should just stay there, or should we try and get him up the way? Oh, we've got a shooter coming this way. I think he's just going to stay there for now. There we go there. I think we'll do that on you if we can. <coughs> okay, so he's not—he's a melee. You're staying there. How dare these wretched things stand before the void admiral of Cesaragon? Well, we knew he was a goner. Oh, he's coming this way, is he? He can travel far. If we go there, we can take a pot shot at him. Sorted. All that effort for nothing. <laughs> I don't think he's going to get whacked the next time, isn't he? He really needs to get out of there. Even if he uses his extra point up. How far is he going to go? Oh, he's coming right over, is he? No! <laughs> Are we just going to try and leg it? <laughs> Using the extra... Using the CP. Could use that on him, couldn't we? Get an extra CP. No? Nothing. Right, you really need to get up here. Hopefully, that's far enough away. We gathered all we have, right? So there's no point using that again. Do not think to challenge us, we who killed our gods. I 
He was melee resistant, doesn't he? And now he's energy resistant. I think we're dead this time. <laughs> Who's got the least health? He has. Uh, can we delete? No. Yeah. I don't really want to delete the turn. We've got an extra point, so we could get you right up here. It's probably not far enough though. Oh. I could get you out. Can I do that? Again, I need to get an extra point. Maybe I should move out of range. Can you hear the trembling of the stars? Can you feel the whole galaxy's terror? Hopefully it doesn't hit more than um, 7. No, thankfully. Oh, I didn't get a thingy. <laughs> I think he's going to be dead. Who did we summon a... Well, we can't do anyway, but... I think he's probably going to die. Although it looks like we might be getting a move. Oh no, it's him, So, Well you've escaped already, but we are going as far as possible over here. Or... He wouldn't have been in range. In time, when the South Tech Dynasty rules, you will beg Lord Cesaragon to erase you from existence so that your suffering might. Bound to hit for three or more. But we successfully escaped. <laughs>
Well, we got the squad out alive. This has, that has to count as a victory under the circumstances. We encountered a necro war form of capability well beyond our expectations. Yes, I do not need to hold my emotional engrams. However, one battle won is not a success. We will eventually face losses on this mission. When this happens, we must press on beyond our failures to reach success. And there is something else. The reanimation. The Necrons are waking up. It started when Resak stumbled on the tomb, but our arrival is accelerating the process. That obelisk may have been set a form of intruder alarm, and now the sarcophagi in the tomb are starting to open. Then we are no longer enjoy the luxury of time. Whatever we do on Silva Tenebus, it must be done before the Necrons awaken, completely. We do not even know yet how far the tomb complex extends. We are under the gun then. On the sire, preserve us if our duty is now ever easy. I return sorrow and despair from my emotional cores, but I see they lack the logic to determine decision making. Instead, I choose to quarantine them and adjust our approach. The word of the Omnissiah teaches us that when one method fails, another must be sought until all are exhausted. Then what are your orders, Majos? Skatari will explore the tomb chamber by chamber and maintain a foothold. My tech priest will be deployed to achieve crucial objectives and respond to crisis. Time may be a factor, but our mission can only be achieved when the thoroughness of a full deployment. I shall mobilize the Skatari immediately, Majos. Opportunity detected. Leader forms of Necrons really never observed. Potential of intelligence on Necrons added to some total of human knowledge. Imperative. Focus on acquiring artifacts, intelligence, data from. Hold your blasphemous tongue, Scavalar. You counsel the abandonment of our very souls. Life of Archmajors. Boris's Appendix 9, our only objective should be death to the alien and all his works, all else is defiance from the Omnissire Creed. If intelligence gain equals true, then go to victory. To face an enemy unknown is to fight in the dark. <laughs> Better in ignorance than in heresy. I return frustration at your conflict and choose to experience it. There will be bloodshed enough on Silva Tenebus without the Magi coming to blows. In our purpose we are united. This is the will of the Omnissiah. And it shall be done. Yes, it shall be done. I like all these backdrops. Oh, they move when you move the mouse about. <laughs> Majos, the readings from the tomb are troubling. The Skatari have been monitoring the structure we uncovered, and what they have found gives me grave concern. <laughs> Explain, xenobiologists. Xenobiologists. The Necron construct forms are waking up. It seems Majos Reshak accidentally began the process, and their intrusion into the structure hastened it. These Necron reanimation protocols are continuing in the tomb we entered, and from the energy spikes across the region there are other structures yet to be uncovered. My plan for the exploration of Silva Tenebus will locate these structures and contain the constructs within. That may not be enough, Majus. I have detected a repeating pattern in the reanimation protocols, and the rate the Necrons are awakening they are speeding up. Oh dear. <laughs> Can you be certain? 
When Necrons are machines, machines hark according to patterns and programs. If the reanimation protocols continue to accelerate, they will fully awaken every Necron on this planet in 264 hours. Precisely. <laughs> Given the extent of the buried structures that will constitute a Necron army beyond this mission's ability to contain. I see, then our time here is limited. Strategic calculations indicate time spent deployed on missions will affect the overall number of missions we are able to deploy. I will send Skatari scouting party to parties to discover other tombs and create four positions for your high priority missions, sire. If the threat on Silver Tenebus is not assessed and eliminated before full reanimation is reached, we will be, we will be forced to abandon the planet. Okay, so this is the Necron Awakening Meter. It shows how many Necron tombs are awoken on Silver Tenebus. Try and gather as much information in tech before reaching 100%. Silver, <laughs> I fear they are right. I feel fear too. That is part of humanity I have chosen to retain, but I can quarantine it in my new revolts and choose instead to focus on what must be done. We must choose our missions wisely. It will not be easy. The Omnissiah did not send us here to do anything easy. The threat to humanity present in this world will be eliminated, or we shall not leave. Thus the equation is balanced. It is the will of the Machine God. Acropus sector located. This tomb is bathed in a sickly green light that serves not to illuminate, but only to make the shadows deeper. Every surface seems connected via filaments of alien light. The design here speaks of Xenostic heresy, forbidden knowledge, and the structure is alive and aware as anything inhabitant. Early exploratory readings indicate the walls are made of substances not known to the rituals of metallurgy. Abstract designs carved into the substance suggest unknown regions of space mapped according to some alien understanding. The weight of such blasphemy slows the steps of the first troops to enter here. The heresies of knowledge are deadly enough, but it seems unlikely they are the only dangers here. Okay, so we've finished the tutorial basically. Welcome to the Cestus. That'll be like Caesar, so Cestus Metallicon, an Arc Mechanicus class battleship. This class of ship is one of the largest in the Imperium and is only afforded to the Adeptus Mechanicus. From here you'll be able to customise your tech priests and prepare for the missions ahead. You can select missions from the character portraits on the left of the screen. Before we go on a mission, we should inspect and equip our tech priests. Head over to the Cohort tab. The Cohort tab. Here you can see all the available tech priest and troop units currently unlocked. We've only got servitors. One up, we've got Majos, Manarias, and Jeremiah. One of these died, didn't they? Troop units are shown at the top of the screen. Here you can see what skills each troop has available and all stats. Two units are shown at the top of the screen. Okay, so it's this one. Okay. Tech piece are shown in the bottom six slots. Do Ma Manaris. 
This just got an easy name to say, Jeremiah. Welcome to the Tech Priest customization screen. There are many ways to customize a Tech Priest. You can change their weapons, body augments, back park upgrades and more. Yep. Upgrade your Tech Priest. Head to the Disciplines button near the Tech Priest portrait. So we've got here, that's our servo skull. Power axe. This pistol. Arc scourge. Okay, so we're using our blockstone, what we call it, to upgrade their tech priests. Each discipline is focused on a different playstyle. Explorators taking a quest for knowledge more than any other discipline. Masters of man and machine. Takes on tasks that other priests avoid. Um, Cartol <laughs> cataloggers. <laughs> okay. Engine seers. Heavily trained in art of war. Dangerous alien technology. <coughs> so we meant to put. Upgrade your tech priest. Next upgrade. So we just got to pick something. <coughs> I have no idea what's going to be good though. That's a melee range thing. Troop. Troop unit gains plus one damage, plus four meter movement, and the extra crit chance. The next weapon's attack cognition cost is reduced by two points. So. so you always get one CP. That's quite good, especially for running away. <laughs> Cleanse the target of any negative effects. Plus four for ranged weapons. Extra damage. Uh, restore a hit point. Oh, excuse me, it's uh, seven in the morning here. I don't know, I quite like that. <laughs> Is this the one that... Um... Oh wait, okay. You have enough... Maybe you didn't have to pick anything there. You have enough augment capacity to equip this tech piece with a weapon. You can see the capacity amount for item capacity amount for items within its tooltip. Drag a weapon onto a slot using the left mouse button will take up one of your tech priest's AC slots. To gain more AC slots, upgrade your tech priest. So did he Okay, so basically we're just starting from scratch, aren't we? You can ignore what we had in the tutorial. Um, 
Pyrox. Pistol. One to two damage. That's what that costs three. Single attack. Upon hitting target turns into a cone of attack. That's quite expensive, isn't it? But nice though. So we should really have a melee weapon, regardless. Can we have both of these? Or just the one? Okay, I can't equip that. Oh, look, it needs... Um, So we're having him as melee. I guess I can't use that. No, I don't have enough. Unless I upgrade. range weapons really <laughs> so I don't have to go close. Should we upgrade in here? We've only got oh, 300 though. I don't know, I think um, he might have to be like that. He's not using ranged weapon. I think he's going to be that, so he gets extra damage. We'll do that. That's, why is that? Why is that one green? Is that because that's what we'll have after this? Okay. Having a diverse team is advised, however the choice is all yours. Tech priests can be multi-discipline, meaning they can learn skills from more than one discipline. But he can now carry two things. That's melee attack as well. I think we should probably go for that. Let's have him as the melee guy. Can I not put that over there? Unplug. <laughs> I want to do it there, so it's at the top. <laughs> okay, that's him. How do I get back to the other guy? We'll do that. Right, I, he's going to be arranged. Now, that doesn't use anything. See, that uses one. <laughs> we'll put 
I think we should probably go for that. Let's give him this gun. But he's also getting that. Is he? Or should we just go for that one? That, that needs nothing to fire. Uses one. No, let's go for that. Just now. Wait, how do I close out of here? How do I get out? Oh, we go to here, don't we? Let's save that. Okay, so we've got a couple of new deployments. Easy. <laughs> Tech Acrisistor Scavla wishes to begin her research into the secrets of the Necrons and has asked for specimens of the enemy to be gathered from the tomb of Acropis. We shall got we will get that it heals for two both healing things. We'll get ninety one. I like the healing things. It's quite nice, isn't it? Let's try this out. Here you choose which tech piece and troops to take on your mission. Use left mouse button to add a unit and right to remove. Really nice interface, isn't it? Well, we're going to be taking everybody. Uh, oh, canticles, look. Can we add another one? No. So we have got a heal. How do they, I wonder how the canticles work, though. Right, let's take Jeremiah. Can we? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't cost anything. We'll just take a full team. And we've got the heal. Scavala, I asked you on this mission because of your experience with surveying alien artifacts and organisms. And so the heretics of Stygis 8 can plunder this world for its secrets. Your assertion is false. If object and concern offence, go to different mission. We leave you free to do as you will. A dereliction of logic, Scavla. Macharian 16.4. Watch your brother for his sin of heresy is thy sin of tolerance. Must not fail to exploit. The logic of your enthusiasm eludes me, Tech Aquasar. My emotional cores return only peril to our mission personnel and the threat of the awakening Xenos. Therefore, I am on this mission. My role is to gather intelligence, seek truth, return to human comprehension. 
gather knowledge for the good of all. And how are you to go about that, Scavola? Build operations in person. Suboptimal. Send and tech priests instead. Is optimal. First objective gather field specimens.